Yo, this is the tunnel place, Pokemon Omega Ruby, and now things are starting to, well, get very, very interesting. Because Sinia came, she took the shifter that Team uh, Magma had stolen, and then she destroyed it! Basically, now we have no hope of destroying stop in the Meteor, and we are doomed. But she has another plan, involving keystones. And apparently, she's going to Team Magma Hideout to find another keystone, probably from Maxi, who's probably there resting after the, well, humiliating defeat of trying to summon Groudon. What is she gonna do with all those keystones, though? Well, the only way to find out is, well, we have to go and find the hideout ourselves. So can we need to the hideout from here, or do we have to go swimming? Or should we have to swim? Oh, well, we don't really need to do much, so let's just go to the content. But yeah, things are about to escalate much more interestingly, and we have to find out just what exactly is going on. What is she up to, and what can we do to stop her? Or should we, mean, should we even stop her? I mean, does she have good intentions? I mean, she does. She says that she refuses our way of stopping the meteoroid, because apparently that's going to cause destruction for another world, maybe. The other ones are like, nah, it's not our problem. Well, of course it's kind of our problem, because we are the one creating the problem for another world, so... I kind of agree with uh, Sinia a bit, but... Maybe we need to know more what she actually is going to do, though. Well, we're gonna find out more in this episode. So we are back here again, we haven't been here in a while. What's up with these guys? That trainer with the black bubble here. She was incredibly strong. But our leader is beyond the rooms full of war panels. Not well, easy to get there. I wonder where the whisper is inside. What, what? Was a dragon type Pokemon user. Her strength is really something. By the chance, is she stronger than Maxi? Well, I guess we have to find out. So we're back here again. Um, how are we even supposed to go here again? I can't even remember. Oh well, let's do some exploration. I can't even remember how this place worked again. All of us gather and listen to our leader Max's edifying speech of 11 o'clock every morning. Every morning. Every morning! An intruder in our hideout? You pretty shade looking. On your mark, get set, fight! Yeah, there are trainers in here too, so apparently I'm not sure if they want to fight us or they want to fight the... the but Zina though, but we have to fight him anyways. A Numo? That's a kind of low. Still 49, that's pretty high level for a Numo that has evolved to Camerupt. Well, it's very weak to water anyway, so... Being a fire and ground dual type. Here comes Weezing as well. Weezing we know is... Uh, Poison type that's immune to ground because of levitate, so we need to use psychic. We'll pick the damage to it. Plus we seeing has pretty high defense, but not really high special defense though, it's pretty pretty bad. So we can do that. A psychic. There we go. And this thing goes down. So yeah, so all the trainers are on duty to fight, I guess, because obviously they think that some stuff is going on. You even got the beds here, so you can also rest. Think about this as your free Pokemon Center. Can't complain about that, can we? Of course not. Let's see, where do you go from here? Again, if you want to get the leader, you have to defeat me first. But you would have a chance, even the whole world went topsy turvy. Ah. Well, at least you have some guts, I guess. With your one mighty Anna, the most common Team Magma Aqua Pokemon there is. I'm not gonna complain, I guess. Surf, let's go. Sucker Punch. 
Pokemon Fighting is basically a dark move which also has priority. And it'll always be used as a sort of priority over your opponent. But it can only work if the opponent is using a damaging move as well. It's a nice move though, because if you fight a Pokemon that has a move that can be effective against like a fairy type or a fighting type, you can do Sucker Punch. Problem is though, that Sucker Punch is a dark move though, so. I didn't do much to fighting types. Mm, is it up here, I think? I can't even remember. It's been a while since I were traveling this area here. Not this one. I think that's the place to rest, I guess, but. What do you even need that for? We already done some resting, so. Will displace them. Some scientists. No, not this one either. It must be the bottom right then one, the one we actually bypassed. We were like, nah, let's not skip it. Fine. Enter it, we do. Now we're here. This one, I think, is the one that's up here. I think down here. And then we have these ones again. I don't remember the order we were supposed to go to. That was not the right one. That was the right one. And this is the one in the middle or one on the right? This one on the right. And there she is! <laughs> Alright! And the winner is Sinia! Leader Maxi, please compose yourself! Yeah. The great Maxi's fault is woman. Oh, what's this? Aren't you happy, girl Aster? This is what I expected of my daughter. We're so in sync. <laughs> Woman, who are you? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. I couldn't become who I was supposed to be, so what does it make me now? Heh, <laughs> whatever, right? Enough with the introspection and the soul searching. You there, Sitano! Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come over and say hi! Could it be? The child? You. Why are you here? Isn't it obvious? He's the hero, right? Here to save the world again? Oops. Looks like he's a bit too late this time. If only you'd been here just a minute one earlier. You. Leader! Alright. I said this keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Aster. Now we can do it. The summoning. We will summon Rayquaza. Well then, looks like my job here is done. So don't mind me while I excuse myself. Oh, Satano. I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We'll be heading to that ancient tower sealed since primal times. The Sky Pillar. If you don't know what it, that is, well, ask that former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. See you there. Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Who did you think this? Messing up our base and giving us a slip? That can never be forgiven. Now I see. Yes, you were not a chance that brought you here now. This was inevitable. Leader? Tabita, give it to him. What did he say? Is it alright? Yes. Now that the keystone has been stolen, a mega storm will serve me no purpose. Acknowledge! 
And now we got the camera up that. So if we want to have our own camera up, we want to mega ball of it, now we can do that. That's nice. I guess. Camera up that. Make sure the camera holds it down too tightly. I do not have the power now to use Mega Evolution. So I entrust it to you. I entrust it believing that this is the best action I can now take. That woman. She had such an utter mastery over her dragon type Pokemon. There is more to her than meets the eye. I do not know what must be going through her mind. But I think you may be the only one who can stand against her. So I ask you this favor. Rage. Take up this fight for me and bring this crisis to his resolution. Get a call again? Titano, are you alright? Is that right? I never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Draconid people. So that's it. I begin to see the line connecting to these dots. I think we need to meet at once and discuss what we should do next. I'm waiting at the space center up on the second floor. Do hurry! Oh, we will do indeed. So basically now we know the ultimate plan for Zinnia. Her plan is to basically summon Rayquaza. And she apparently needed all the keystones that she has stolen from Mei, from Wally, and from other people like Courtney and now from Maxi. And with all those keystones, she can do her uh, dreadful action. But we still don't know too much in detail though what she actually is going to do. Like how she's going to do it and how it's going to save everyone, I guess. Gail came asking where the leader room was. I learned she was an intruder. The next bones will be cut for sure. The Max is a scary man. Mm. Doesn't sound all too nice, I guess. Well, let's take the exit here. Get all the way back to the exit and then we can go outside. So yeah, this uh, pl place we were doing now in the... This place was pretty quick, so that was nice. Well, let's head over to Musty right away. Apparently, it seems like we're starting to get to a conclusion. No, no, conclusion doesn't have so I mean, we are about to reach the payoff, which involves some cool Pokemon, some cool drama, and a lot of story conclusions. But yeah, Sky Pillar is basically where the Delta episode is going to conclude. And we're going to go there soon, but before we go there, we need to sort of uh, conclude the information we found so far. And apparently, we need to find out how we can enter Sky Pillar as well, because it's not just entering it like normally. It's a bit of a... Um, magical things, in a way? Sort of? You don't understand. Let's talk with Steven first to see exactly what he means about combining the dots, and maybe he knows something more than we do. Titano, I've been expecting you. Ah, that's it! That woman, that Cynia, she mentioned the Sky Pillar. If you can enter it, only the successors of the ancient world who knows what have been. The lore keepers who are tasked with passing on the knowledge to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace, from who we met in Pseudopolis? Yeah, we know him, he's the gym leader of the 8th gym and the one we met just before we went to fight against Groudon. Is that right? That is a relief. The gym leader of Pseudopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. He's also one of the few humans to have inherited such an ancient lore. I remain here and work with Professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman, Cynia. I cannot put my faith in her. We'll think of a new way to stop the meteorite on our own. Cynia and the Sky Pillar. I'll leave them in your hands. 
I'll send a message to Wallace for you, so he knows how to help. You'll probably find him in the Cave of Origin in Sudopolis. Okay, so apparently Wallace is sort of connected to these Draconoids as well, as Sinia was. And apparently he knows the way to enter the Sky Pillar. Well, let's fly. So, suitable to know where it is, it's very easy. It's that big crater town in the middle of the sea. There we go. So, let's see, it should be near the cave of origin. That means we probably should go to the water, I guess. Do some surfing. No, that was wrong. I forgot. The Cave of Origin is not in the water, the Cave of Origin is on the top level. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just climb upwards then. It's up here, I think. Down here. Here it is. There he is! What a glorious turn of events! Is it really? <laughs> is it really? To think that this tree... I never knew you had receded from that huge man of visitors from the Kalos region. Goodness me, old master. This has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. Oh, <laughs> you're too kind, Master Wallace. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, you too modest. <laughs> now then. Welcome again to Sudopolis, our new champion, Sitana. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to the Sky Pillar? It is true the key that leads to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Sudopolis. As indeed am I. Or. One of the Draconids who have also lived in Hoenn since ancient times. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for the ascension of Rayquaza, that legendary Pokémon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconid people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Dean has told me of the woman Sinia. She must be trying to revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When you prepared preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar towers over everything upon one of Route 131's small islands. So yes, yeah, Sky Pillar is where we're gonna go. This is where the story is gonna conclude and everything like that. It's gonna be nice, for sure. So next episode, we're gonna head towards the Sky Pillar. We're going to meet with Wallace, make an open up, and then we're gonna enter it. Go to the top and see if we can find Sinia. And see what we can do in order to get this um, big mess sorted. However, next episode we're gonna do something else because you see, some of the Pokemon we're gonna face soon will be very high level, and one of them will be legendary Pokemon, and they're gonna be even higher level than our already high level Pokemon. So high, it might be troublesome to even face them right now. So next episode, guys, we're gonna do something else. Yep. Something else, indeed. Something else is that we're going to find a little cool way to level up our Pokémon super fast. Because that's going to be very nice to have when we do this little thing. Or we might be in trouble. So next episode we're going to do some cool stuff reaching the secret bases. And then, we're going to head to the Sky Pillar. We're going to find Wallace, climb it, see if we can find Sinia, And then see what we can do to stop this meteoroid once and for all. Can we do it though? Oh, I'm sure. But how? We'll find out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's great for now. See you next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Omega Ruby. Continue!